but it's raining and nasty outside. Well, stop worrying. With a little help from our indoor grill, we're going to barbecue under the roof. So pack up your tongs and let's get sizzling. Today on Fun Food Frenzy, we're having an indoor barbecue party. And you're invited. And today, because it's raining, we're having an indoor barbecue party. And I've got a secret to tell you. Shh, here comes my dad. Hi, Jesse. Did I hear something about you telling a secret? Yeah, I was just about to tell them... That I'm the barbecue king? Um, well... Since you go around telling everyone that, it doesn't really qualify as a secret. Huh. But this is. What's this? Oh, cute. You made your own label and put it on some barbecue sauce. Not quite, Dad. I made it myself. <laughs> this? You made this? With, uh, with what ingredients? That's the secret. Hey, you're talking to the dad who knows everything there is to know about barbecuing. Except the recipe to my secret sauce. I bet I could figure it out. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. I can. Okay. I think I can. If you figure out the recipe to my secret sauce, mm -hmm. I'll... I'll do all the dishes after the barbecue party. Huh, you're on. Now let's get grilling. Today we're cooking everything on the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Like grilltastic burgers. And crazy veggie kebab. And not to mention spudlicious potatoes. But first, you have to find out the ingredients to my secret sauce. Oh, right. Well, I'm off to the jungle. Good luck. I'm on the prowl for some potatoes. Here, Jess. This will help you get to the root of that potato problem. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Is there something you want to tell me about? Uh, well, I was just wondering if you could give me a little hint about what's in that secret sauce. Mm. Admitting you need help takes a lot of courage. Tell you what, Dad. Uh -huh. If you help me plant potatoes, I'll give you a hint. Oh, sure, that's easy. First, you have to cut out the eyes. What? <laughs> the eyes are these white parts that grow out. Oh, I see. Get it? I see. I look. My eyes. <laughs> Good one, Jess. But potatoes don't see with their eyes. These are the sprouts that grow into new potatoes. Oh. There you go. You can plant that in the ground. Well, you know, in places like uh, PEI in Canada or in Idaho in the States where a lot of potatoes are grown, schools used to close to let the kids out into the fields at picking time. Oh, cool. But now there are machines that do it. Yeah. Would have been fun to have a few days off of school. Mm, I don't know. Potato picking is pretty back-breaking work. And I think after a few days, you'd wish you were still in your classroom. You're probably right. <laughs> On Prince Edward Island, they do grow a lot of potatoes. The secret is the island's red sandy soil. Every year, about 10% of the whole island is planted. PEI is Canada's biggest potato producer. It produces more than 400 kilos per Canadian per year. And since one person can't eat that many, PEI exports potatoes all over the world. Some 
are grown just for the seeds so that more potatoes can be planted next year. Almost half of the potatoes are made into french fries and chips. The rest are saved for just plain eating. Did you know that the potato's the most popular veggie in the world? Way to go, potato! So, uh, how about that hint? Okay. The answer to this riddle is an ingredient. Okay. Right? What runs around in circles but keeps moving forward? Runs in circles but keeps moving forward? Uh, uh, I don't know. Time. Okay, I, I get it, but what's that got to do with your secret sauce? T-H-Y-M-E. Time. Time. It's an ingredient. Oh. And speaking of which, it's time to go do our recipes. Right. Uh, I'll meet you there in just a minute. Okay. See ya. Hey, Grumbler. You uh, have any idea what's in this secret sauce thing? Oh, uh, come on, please. Tomato paste. Thanks, big guy. Oh, and uh, let's keep this between the two of us, okay? Our first recipe is crazy veggie kebabs. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, you should always have a grown-up's help when you're cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, and never try new food unless an adult says it's okay. You could be allergic. Mm -hmm. Now, the first thing we need to do is cut the veggies down to size. What size do you suppose that might be? Well, we want to eat them, so... I'd say around bite size. That's right. <laughs> now that the veggies are ready, it's time for the skewers. These are what put the kebab in crazy kebabs. Oh, but it's a good idea to soak them for a while in water so they don't catch on fire. Whoa, those look pointy. Are they safe? <gasps> Did you say safe? Attention, we have a safety alert in progress. All viewers beware. Shish kebab skewers have sharp ends and should only be handled by adults. <sighs> Fine with me. So how can I help? Oh, well, you get to do the crazy part. You get to choose what goes on the kebab and in what order. For my first kebab, I'm going to try the standard approach. Mm -hmm. One of each. Wow, a color combo. Huh? Now, what would you like to make for your next one? Um, an all-mushroom one. An all-mushroom kebab? Yeah. That's one crazy kebab. What would you like to make for your third one? An all-pepper one. An all-pepper kebab? Yeah. One onion in the middle. Good idea. Now... I need to do one more thing, which is brush these with canola oil. I'll just do that. The all mushroom kebab. That is crazy. These go on the grill for four to five minutes, and I have to remember to keep turning them so they don't burn. Yeah. Call them crazy kebabs for nothing. Mm. Now it's time to move on to our spudlicious potatoes. You wash these, right? Yeah. Good. There we go. Uh, what are you doing, Dad? Oh, I'm helping them breathe. But they're potatoes. Well, I don't want them to explode on the barbecue. You mean they get mad at you? Well, potatoes get steamed. Can you blame them? Jesse, help me out here. That's Just good. kidding, you know it. I know. How many holes? No, oh, four, five, six. Really? Mm hmm Oh, I'm beating you. You're way behind. Oh, come on, you started before me. Take some wrapping paper, shiny side up. Shiny side up? Shiny side up, because you want that to go on the inside. 
Ready? Your mark, get set, go! There is one other thing you can do to potatoes to help them cook on the barbecue. Aluminum foil. Now, to demonstrate, I'm going to wrap one potato in the foil and leave one unwrapped and put them both on the barbecue. Wow, look at that aluminum in action. Well, <laughs> of course, you can't really see what's happening, but, but there are two things going on here. One, the aluminum foil is conducting heat from the grill into the potato. Oh, and two, you may have noticed that I wrapped it with the shiny side in. That helps keep heat inside the potato. Now, I just have to leave these for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Here's Dad with the 20 Minute Potato Show. <laughs> That's 20 minutes. Let's check the unwrapped potato first. Just gotta cut this in half. Mm. Uh huh. That is definitely not cooked. Ooh, but hot. Now, let's see what happened with the potato wrapped in aluminum foil. Oh. Good. Ah, that's feeling better. There. The potato in the aluminum is cooked right through and ready to eat. Oh, uh, butter. Here we go. Oh, salt. Last bit of advice. Let the potato cool down a bit before you eat it. Oh! Ah, uh, the majestic ostrich. It's the largest living bird in the world. It can live up to be 70 years old and can run at speeds up to 70 kilometers an hour. The ostrich egg is the same size as 24 chicken eggs. They might start small, but adult male ostriches are eight to 10 feet tall. But wait, if you're tired of the same old hamburgers and hot dogs on the barbecue, try ostrich meat. It's been popular as dinner in South Africa for a long time. Ostrich meat is very healthy. It's 40% lower in fat than beef. Ostrich skin can also be made into a leather for things like boots and jackets. Very fashionable. Doctors can even use ostrich tendons to fix torn human tendons. I hope I haven't ruffled your feathers. Now, can we start the Grilltastic Burgers? Hmm, maybe. If you give me a little hint about what's in your secret sauce. Okay, here's a big one. Some of these ingredients for the Grilltastic Burgers uh -huh. are in my sauce, too. Oh, huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we can start the burgers. Begin by putting the ground beef into a bowl. Okay. Now, it's very important to wash your hands after touching raw hamburger. 
because it can have a bacteria in it called E. coli, which can make you very sick. So, in. You don't want to spread E. coli around the house with your hands either. No, you don't. Now, we need to chop up some onion, parsley, and garlic. Could you crush the garlic? And I'll start with these. Sure. I'm an excellent garlic masher. In goes the onion. Next, the parsley. The Worcestershire sauce? Yeah, you can put that in. What did you call that? Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire, no. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Say it really fast. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. That's it, there that's you it. go. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. In goes the parsley. And the garlic. Okay. In goes the garlic. Uh, oh, the water. Salt and pepper to taste. Is that to your taste? A little oh, more? Oh, yeah, probably. There. You tell me when on the pepper. Okay. Oh, oh that's not enough pepper. pepper. Oh, cool. A little more pepper. All right. Good. Okay, now everything's in. We mix it all together. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, that stuff's so squishy. It yeah, is squishy. Squish. Now, when it's all mashed up, you take it and make a ball with your hands. And flatten it out on a piece of wax paper. Is it time to start grilling? Oh, yeah. Well, let's barbecue. Burgers onto the grill. Mmm. Now, uh, burgers need to be grilled until they're nice and brown on the bottom. Then you flip them over and make sure you cook them all the way through. Mm. Oh, time to wash the hands. You know, Jesse, barbecuing is an art form, and it takes an artist such as myself to know when a burger is done. My experienced eye tells me that this burger is done. Well, there's experience, and then there's science. This is a meat thermometer. You put it in your hamburger patty like that. Right. And when it reaches that temperature, it's right to eat. Well, see, it's done. I told you. When are you going to learn to respect my barbecuing talents? When are you going to find out the ingredients to my secret barbecue sauce? Or do you need another hint? Maybe just one little one? Okay. Where are the highest tides? It's tides? In the ocean? Oh, oh I can see it. Uh, uh, east coast of the United States and Canada. Uh, the, the Bay of Fundy, that's it. Yes. That's my hint? The Bay of Fundy? Ooh. What has the Bay of Fundy got to do with your secret sauce? You're always telling me to use my noggin. Now it's time to use yours. The Bay of Fundy. Fundy? What's fu Oh, the bay! There's a bay leaf in the sauce, right? Yes! <laughs> so, what are we going to make? A tablecloth. With potatoes? Ah, with potato prints. Oh. This is really easy and fun. You take some potato halves, and using a blunt instrument, a table knife, a fork, a spoon, you cut designs in them, any way you like. There, you see how easy that is? Just like that. Now, I've got some here that we made before. All right. Use a brush to dab a little paint across the potato. I'm gonna use the star. A little paint across the design. Okay, I'm going to mix it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I smushed that one, too. See? That one's good. You have to do it real. Look! Yeah. I did it! Okay. 
Oh, this is going to look so cool. This is such a pretty one, this one. <gasps> Look, it's so nice. Hmm. What are we gonna call this? A potato cloth. A potato cloth, yeah. exactly. And you know, when this is dry, we'll be ready to eat with our guests. <laughs> Jesse, I have figured out the ingredients for your secret sauce. Onions, tomato paste, Thyme, bay leaf, parsley, garlic, Worcester, wor, wor, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, thank you. Worcestershire sauce and vinegar. That's pretty good, but you're missing one thing. Oh, I give up. That's too bad, because you have all of the ingredients to win. Uh... Oh, uh, olive oil! That's it! There's olive oil in the sauce. Well, I guess you're gonna do all the dishes after the party. Yep. You seem a bit too happy for someone who has to do the dishes all alone. That's because they're paper plates! Oh. Yeah, it's cleanup time! What a drag. You wash, I'll dry. Okay. <laughs> Mopping, mopping, mopping. This is fun. This is hard work. Wow, super clean. I guess it wasn't so bad. <laughs> Dad, where are the burgers? Okay, here we go. One open. One for you. One for you. There's all kinds of stuff to put on them, whatever you like. There's cheese and uh, veggies, and relish, and mustard. Okay, Here's another look at our grilltastic burgers, as enjoyed by the barbecue king himself. Start with the ground beef and a big bowl. Remember to wash all the dishes with warm, soapy water after using raw ground beef. The same goes for your hands. To the beef, we added some minced onions, the Worcestershire sauce, chopped parsley, chopped garlic, a little cold water, and salt and pepper to taste. Now roll up your sleeves and mush the whole lot together until it's really well mixed. Then it's onto the grill, into a bun, and down the hatch. Barbecue party was smoking. Yes, it was. See you next time on Fun, Fun Food, Food Frenzy! Frenzy. Woo.